Zara here for Shiny Shiny in Tech Digest. Today I'm here with a Sony Ericsson Xperia X1. Now this is a rather unusual phone, we've been hearing loads of stuff about it for about a year, but every time they tell us a release date, it doesn't happen. Every time we get a model, it's a prototype. But now it's actually here, I've been playing around with this for about six weeks or so now, just to give you the really full user experience. Basically, this is Sony Ericsson's first venture with Windows Mobile, so the whole user interface is really different from what you're sort of you know, comfortable with on average Ericsson phones. Because it's Windows Mobile, you get, you know, all your Excel spreadsheets, you can sync your Outlook, you have ActiveSync to hook it up, and you've got a little, if I'm right, yes, micro USB connector to plug it straight to your computer. Always really handy. But apart from that, how does a phone work? You've already seen, we've got this nice three inch screen, it's 800 times 480 pixels, QVGA, um, really easy to use, really nice. So that's pretty good to start with. Then, you know, the fact that it's three inches, nice, and it's also touch screen, so it can just move through different things. And we have soft buttons, and we have a pull out keyboard. So they kind of got to address all of these in one go. It's, where it's got, obviously, it's got HSDPA, it's got Wi Fi, it's got GPS. So everything you can expect really, and a 3.5 jack, which is particularly impressive. I'm going to start with the camera feature. Surprisingly, Ericsson chose to not use their fantastic Cybershot technology, but just to bundle it in your average 3.2 megapixel camera. You do, however, have flash, various scene modes, and something I quite like, which is called focus touch. So as you can see, I'm focusing on somebody, but I'm using my finger to select exactly where the subject is. And this basically means they'll be in focus, even if I'm not using it as a portrait shot. So that's nice, especially with all the snow at the moment. So that's one of the definitely good things about it, apart from the fact CyberShop would have been quite nice as well. Now, the exciting thing about the Xperia, or unexciting maybe, is a panel option, where you click this little button here, and instantly it will bring up seven panels. Now all of these are fully customizable, so you can download different ones. And if we have a look, you can see I've got a weather and calendar thing over here. I've got my Google toolbar. And I've even got media player. All very nice, all easy to use, but not actually. It's just a little bit fiddly and clunky and it doesn't really seem to be very symbiotic with the user. You want to be able to touch something and move it around but instead here it's sort of all over the place. We've also got a card view here where you can basically use it, scroll down and see different cards to move them up rather than a flat panel view which is very Apple OS X if you happen to like that kind of thing. They have bundled in a rather cute feature here which I'm just going to show you which is this little fish screen. You can see you've got little three goldfish floating around in a time, and there's a blackfish. Why is that, you ask? Well, basically, I've had a missed call. So these normally happy fish change colour when you haven't got a call. The fourth fish down the bottom also means my battery is not particularly high, or that my reception is poor. It's sweet, and it's a you know a nice screensaver, which is actually functional. But at the same point, not hugely important. So moving our way back, we'll go to this pull-out keyboard. Now a lot of people hate this and have said it's difficult, it's fiddly. I happen to think it's pretty good actually. I find the keys really sensitive, you move around well, and it's quite good for texting if you don't mind doing this on the go. I, I'm more of a one-handed texter, so anything which kind of involves me having to do this, a bit frustrating. As well as that, going back to the screen, I'm just going to change it to a different panel because fish are great, can't use them all the time. The font that it's pre-loaded with is really, really small. If you have a look, you can see just how tiny it is. Obviously you can change it, but the larger you change your font, the less room you'll have on the screen. So vis-a-vis, -vis, it just doesn't seem to work very well. So the problem is, every time I'm trying to do something, like even scrolling through my contacts, going up and down using these, but what if I just try to do that? It just randomly calls people, does stuff like that. You do have a lock button along the top, which is nice just to secure your data so it doesn't sort of accidentally go off in your pocket. But it is a little bit fiddly. It's not hugely intuitive. I think it's great to have all the Windows mobile options, but at the same time, they're not really utilising it because the clunky interface really needs to be worked on. So the Xperia X1, it's been an experience. I wouldn't say it's been particularly positive, but to be very curious to see where they're going to go with next with this. Perhaps the X2 will build on all the features we didn't like about this and get us something really fantastic.